This is my hair. This is my hair. Oh, oh, oh. Hi guys, welcome back to another hair video. If you are new, hi, my name is Shani Stevens. I do beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content here on this channel. And I'm also a makeup artist based here in North Carolina. So if you're interested in any of that, definitely come back and watch more videos and subscribe before you leave so in today's video I'm going to be doing my hair I have in clip-ins from Unice Hair these are the seamless natural curly clip-ins in 18 to 20 inches because I think I got 18 inches but I feel like it's a little bit longer um, but yeah these are clip-ins they're curly clip-ins that I blew out straightened and then curl and let it set so yeah I'm showing you guys that whole process of me doing my hair I know you guys really love my hair video so here is another hair video. I'm literally just like doing my hair. I'm not going anywhere. I'm actually about to go to sleep. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm doing in today's video. The hair came out really, really good. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video because I'm super excited to show y'all how I did my hair today. If I didn't already say thank you to you nice that is our sponsor for today's video so yeah let's go ahead and get right into this video because i don't want to make it too long even though they still be long all right let's go ahead and get right into this washing process so unite hair they sent over the seamless natural curly clip-ins they sent two bundles of 18 inches and they retail for around 118 dollars so like i said i did get two bundles i am going to be washing both of them with the design essential agave line of shampoo conditioner heat protectant and thermal spray i'll link everything down below that i'm using in this video um but yeah i'm just going to start off by washing the clip-ins and making sure everything is out of it um, I did get a natural black color so I did already expect these clip-ins to bleed a little bit and that's just normal to me when I get any hair extensions sometimes they do bleed I'm just showing y'all a little bit how it looks um, so if you do end up purchasing these clip-ins don't be alarmed this is super normal to me so yeah that's how the water is looking and I just keep washing the hair until it gets as clear as possible moving into conditioner i don't know why i showed y'all the conditioner bottle like that and y'all barely seen it but i'm using the design essential conditioner um it's the agave and lavender line i'll link everything down below like i said and i'm just going to massage this conditioner through these two bundles of clip-ins and i'm going to try to do it for like five to ten minutes i think i let it sit a little bit but i really didn't record the washing process a lot because i was just trying to i was in my zone y'all i was literally just trying to wash the hair and install it so i wasn't really focused on the filming aspect of this video but y'all see it like y'all see me wash wigs clip-ins all the time if you need a detailed video on how i do wash my clip-ins i do have a detailed video on that so i will link it in my cards and i will try to link it down below in my description box so just look to the cards or description box and y'all will see that video if you need a dedicated video on this process. So yeah, I'm going to continue to do that and then I'm going to rinse it out and get into the blow dry and blow out process. I did keep one of the bundles curly just so I can show you guys how the natural curl pattern of these clippings look. And they're absolutely beautiful curly, but y'all know I wear my hair straight majority of the time. So of course, I'm going to blow it out and curl it. All right, moving into blowing these curly clip ends back out. I'm using the Agave and Lavender Blow Dry and Silk Press Collection Blow Dry and Styling Primer. This product really does help with the whole blowout process. It helps with split ends and just giving me a smoother blowout. When I say the brush be gliding through my hair and then any other hair I decide to blow out, it just really does what it needs to do. So yes i am definitely going to be using this product on my hair still and i'm also going to be applying it to any of the units that i'm going to be using because it just really is a really good product now the extension holder was really getting on my nerve like it kept popping open which is why i feel like i need to get a bigger one because it it was just annoying me and it just makes the whole process a little annoying especially when it's supposed to be holding the clip in i don't need you popping out you know what i'm saying <laughs> 
But yeah, the tool that I'm using is from Amazon. All right, so this is how the bundle of clip-ins is looking all blown out. Ugh, it looks so good. Look at the texture, look at the frizz. When I see it looking like this, I just know once I put it in my head, it's going to blend seamlessly. You can see the texture, you can see the frizz, you can, it just looks, it just looks good. And this is why I would rather just take the extra time, get curly hair and blow it out because it just looks better in my opinion. And this is how the clip-ins look blown out versus in its curly state. Moving into straightening these clip-ins out, I'm gonna give it one more good brush and put the hair into my extension holder that needs to be a little bit bigger, but this is what we have for right now. So I'm using it and I'm also going to put a little bit of the Mark Anthony Bye Bye Frizz, I think that's the name of it, on the hair. And we're just going to go ahead and massage that in and go in with my Pure Code Flat Iron. And I'm chasing my flat iron or I'm chasing my rat tail comb with a flat iron. And the comb that I'm using is a Cricut comb. I'll link everything down below, but they're also on my Amazon storefront if you guys just wanna browse through a whole site of things that I use. <laughs> and I'm just going to make my way through these clip-ins and straighten them out. It took me about an hour and a half and I was straightening these clip-ins on 430 degrees. I don't go above 430 because then I feel like I'm just burning the hair. And sometimes it's just, I don't, I don't need that much heat, to be honest, you know? So straightening on 430 took me an hour and 30 minutes, and I'm just going to sit here and jam to some music. I'm currently listening to I Like It by DeBarge, which is very fitting for this video. All right, so this is how the clip-ins look all pressed out and they came out so good. I'm so excited to install these because I know they're gonna look good with my hair. So this is how my hair is looking. I'm doing a little bit of a length check. If you don't know, I did cut my hair up to my neck in February of last year and this is how much it grew. I was mainly trying to make that middle part of my head grow out and according to my mom that's my stress spot so yeah i'm just trying to get my hair full all over you know so getting into the bundle of hair you get two five clipping webs you get two four clipping webs one three clipping web and four two clipping webs and depending on how thick your hair is one bundle should be enough but if you do have thicker hair you're going to need an extra bundle to make sure everything stays full all over my approach to clip-ins is get the same density as your hair so if your hair is thick the clip-ins need to match the thickness of your hair i really hope that makes sense and if you have thick hair and you know your hair is thick like there's no questions asked that you have thick hair please let me know if you only purchase one bundle of clip-ins or you purchase two because my hair isn't thick so i can't really be telling y'all that have thick hair how many packs of clip-ins to get i just know that one bundle is okay for me because my hair isn't that thick and i naturally don't like super full hair okay so i parted above the nape of my neck and this is where i'm going to place my first clip-in i'm using the three clip-in weft which is the only three clip-in weft that comes in this bundle but that's where that clip-in is going to be sitting and to install my clip-ins i always lift my hair up and clip the clip-in onto my hair i don't like combing it into my hair and then clipping it down to my scalp because then that causes tension and I just don't like the way it feels. So by me lifting my hair up, it allows the clip-in to be like free flowing and I can put it in a ponytail. It also cuts that tension down. Because my hair is already on the fine thin side, 
so i don't want the extra pulling of my hair i literally don't like the way it feels especially on the nape of my neck i don't know if that area is just more sensitive but i don't like the back of my hair i don't like that pulling feeling on the back of my hair like y'all know when something is like one strand of your hair is pulling y'all know what i'm talking about i do not like that feeling <laughs> especially on the back of my head so that's why i install my hair how i do because it just works for me now this part is sitting right above my ears and that's where i'm going to place this for clipping with i'm brushing my hair out just to make sure everything is smooth and neat and in place and again, I'm just gonna lift my hair up, clip it down, lift my hair up and clip it down. Now this next clip and whiff, I'm using the four clip and whiff and since my hair is in a side part, these clip ins are kind of, they're not gonna be even on each side. There's gonna be more hair on my right side than there is my left side because my hair is in a side part. I think y'all understand that. So I'm just parting my hair by the tail of my brow and then that's where that four clip and whiff is going to sit. It's not going to pull all the way over to the other side of my head. We'll get to that part. Y'all see that I'm literally just placing these clip ins where I have enough hair to place them. So I'm just making sure this is where I want the clip in to lay. And then once I finally make my mind up, I'm going to put the clip in in my head. If y'all didn't already notice, I don't clip my hair in the same every single time because I don't, I don't know why it's different every single time, but it's different every single time. This type of install is very specific to your hair and the density and just how you want it to lay. So not every single thing that I do to my head is, is going to be the same thing that you all might do to your head. The technique may be the same but your placement is probably not going to be the same when it comes to like how i place in my clip-ins if you guys want a video that's very specific and very um beginner friendly on how to clip in your extensions that video will be linked in my cards and down below in my description box and then this front section of my side part is pretty self-explanatory so i'll just let you guys watch me do this i'm taking two of the two clipping wefts and placing those in the front of my head and then i'll start talking again once i move to the left side of my head Okay, now that I moved to this side of my head, I'm now noticing that I need more clip-ins in my hair to make it blend pretty good. But I also know that I can only fit one clip-in, one, two clip-in with up at the front of my head. So I was like, maybe I can part and put a clip-in with in the back of my head. But then I was like, I don't have enough hair to do that. But I'm sitting here looking at my head and I'm just like, everything is not like covered in full so i was like i still need to at least put two clip-ins on this side of my head so it can balance out so on top of that four clip-in weft that i just previously put in my hair i'm taking a two clip-in weft and double wefting it because i didn't want to move my previous clip-ins that i already had in my head to make more room even though i needed more room i just decided to double weft it on the left side of my head and this wasn't uncomfortable at all it didn't make the clip-ins heavier or anything like that because these clip-ins are already lightweight so adding another clip-in on top of the clip-in that's already in my head didn't really do much but add to the thickness of the hair so i don't want you guys to think that this was like super heavy because it really wasn't the clip-ins are very lightweight i just needed a little bit more hair on that left side of my head and I didn't want to move my previous clip-ins out of the way to make room for another two clip-in left which honestly ended up working out very seamlessly because look at that side of my head now 
it looks full and you can't really see the length of my hair peeking through at all which is what i was trying to fix i'm just going to put a clip in right here and i didn't use the two five clip in wefts because my head is not big enough for that so yeah I'm going to put a little bit ways back. I don't want this super close to my hairline because it's not going to be covered with anything. So yeah, clipping that in there. Okay, Just flip that over, flip that over, and everything should be covered. Now, it's time to curl this hair. I kind of want to keep it straight, but then again, I know how I am with straight hair. I just feel like it looks undone sometimes. So, I'm going to go ahead and put some curls in it. And I can still put it in a ponytail if I want to. Like so, like that. And I can just bring it a little bit higher if I want to. And everything should be covered. Cute, right? Okay, so I think my hair has set long enough, so I'm just going to go ahead and take it down. And I think I'm so nervous because the last time I did my hair, the curls did not hold um, with that other unit. This is my hair. This is my hair. The side part is going to get me together every single time. Unite's hair just really does, just really does what it needs to do. I know these curls are going to drop to like a looser curl, but I don't want them to drop completely. I still need them to have a curl in it. Like the other way from Unite's hair, that wig holds a curl oh, i hope y'all can't hear my stomach growling it looks so good this is the video i don't have i don't have anything else to say honestly like i'll update you guys if i can because i don't know when this video is going to go out um but It looks so good, it looks so natural. I'm acting like I never did my hair before, but like, <gasps> See, this is when I wanna go outside. My hair is done and it's fresh. I really, I'm lost for words. I don't know what else to say. Thank you so much, you nice hair, for sponsoring today's video. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today and doing my hair um, because it needed to be done. Like, 
yeah it's been a long time coming if i didn't already say these are the natural seamless clip-ins from you nice hair in 18 inches but i think they're a little bit longer because when because when it was straight in it was like a little bit longer oh it looks so good so that's what i think this hair is a little bit longer than 18 inches it might be like 20 20 inches maybe 22 but i'm not mad at it it looks so good if i have any coupon codes i will list it on the screen all the links will be down below makeup i have on the l'oreal true match super blendable foundation my normal makeup routine eyeshadow is makeup by mario lashes are from amazon i'll link them in my description box for you guys brows nyx concealer la girl chestnut um concealer under my eyes la girl chestnut blush rosie does it um nothing on my lips just aquaphor um bronzed with juvia's place bronzer um i'll just link my most current um makeup routine not makeup routine but my most current chit chat get ready with me or makeup video i'll link that in the cards because i'm pretty sure i did the same thing i really don't be changing it up too much but yeah that's the makeup this is the hair and I will see you guys in my next upload.